Happy. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds among highly competitive flyweights. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. You got this one. Opening you got round here. Go. See if they go the full 12 tonight. Babyface assassins known as a guy who isn't going to be bashful early on. He has power and he's not afraid to showcase it. Yeah, but that's not all that this business is about. My mentor, Customato, used to say, hey, you know, power is just part of it. It's kind of like having a military weapon. You know, you still need a missile to get it there. Alone, all it does is make a hole in the ground. Otherwise, it has no real use. You have to have a way to get it to the target. Let's see if he has that way. Well played, straight right hand. Come on. Double up. Oh, oh, keep your feet moving. Blocks that punch. Shotgun's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Keeping his hands up the inside. Shotgun swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near as good, solid right hand lands. after catching one by shotgun. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Looking good. Edwards has got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing many. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. Start of a new round. Shotgun's making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Hover up! Hover up! <laughs> 
not much action as he just ties up. Keep working the body. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by shotgun. Blocks the headshot. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Edwards is hurt by that. You see him holding on. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Just hugging there. Edwards is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Come on, kid. Able to block that away, it was targeted hey, for his head. Keep your hands up. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining in this round. Unable to connect by shotgun. Go! Go! Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Don't look for just... Edwards' is bounce is back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. That was not well targeted by shotgun. Keep moving, keep moving. You got this one. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Good block by the baby face assassin. Doing great. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. his punch didn't come close. Oh, you're doing great. Side to side, move your head. Halfway through this round. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Let it go! You need to keep that head moving. You're still not moving enough. Move, move! That's what I want to see. You're still not moving enough. Move, move!
Well placed hook. Nice defense. Good block by the babyface assassin. The babyface assassin is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that? A credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And round three comes to an end. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. The fight in his rhythm, okay? Don't fight his fight. There's no need to fight his style. You're not going to win that way. Well, it's early on, but already a commanding lead. Banking rounds away on Teddy's scorecard, up three rounds to zip. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Jab, jab. Not able to land the headshot. Keep doing what you're doing. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. And he just holds on there. There you go. Oh. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. You're not Takes there. one, but gives one. Good work by Edwards. And he engages in the clinch. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Halfway through round number four. Shotgun's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. No, he's throwing them too wide, too far away, and what's going to be worse, right now he's only getting frustrated, maybe embarrassed as you touched on, but what's going to be worse is when he starts getting counted in between them. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. The babyface assassin's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Use the ring! Use the ring! Uppercut! <laughs> Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Okay, get your hands And up. there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. And a clinch that he needed very badly. Clinching his opponent. Nobody likes to see that. Shotgun's defense is paying off now. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Just like that. Just like that. The end of the round has arrived. And now an opportunity for the trainer here to get his hands on his guy. His guy just got tagged pretty good there. And when he looks into his eyes, what is he looking for? Well, first of all, he's looking to see whether or not his guy is still there. You know, he got stunned pretty good. And then what he has to do is make sure his guy is listening to him and telling him, hey, look, you got caught. You've been caught before. This is the way we can fix it. This is what you got to do to correct things.
Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. And he's just not engaging in the fight. He clinches again. He has his target. He lands the straight right. Babyface Assassin's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Halfway into round number five here. What? What? The Babyface Assassin's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Let it go. And just grabbing on to his opponent. is finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. One, two. One, two. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Oh, well, he missed that right. That's it. No. Looking good, looking good. He's tired, look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? Nice. Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it simple. You're making this harder than it has to be. There you go. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. The babyface assassin is throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. He missed with that headshot.
And Keep now moving. just wasting away some time with that clinch. Shot. Halfway through round six. Move your head. One, two. One, two. Hit the body. Get in there. The babyface assassins clearly committed to the strategy of Just footwork, like of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires, and he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time him. Just still not moving enough. Move, move. I'll be ahead, kid. And he ties up on the inside. And here he goes again with the clinching. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. <laughs> Off the target by the babyface assassin. And that's the end of round six. The babyface assassin's in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. Let the ring off the post and count. Every time he tries to throw to the right, slip to the side and count. Bro, throw punches, okay? Don't walk in the hand without throwing a punch. So with the start of this round, we've reached the halfway point. Be interesting to see what we're in store for down the stretch of this fight. Get out of the way from those punches! Move your head! <laughs> Shotgun's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. <sighs> oh, he's doing great! <sighs> Keep working the body. A nice block by Edwards. That's what I want to Off see. to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Shotgun's missing punches here. Now, the good news is he's throwing punches, but Teddy needs to be more accurate. Well, can I give you the bad news? Please. He's throwing them to the wrong place. He's throwing them upstairs. You should throw them downstairs. This guy's moving his head. You go downstairs, you take away that head movement. Then you find them upstairs. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Edwards is down. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good oh, fundamentals he's been he's put he's there. Fine. You're gonna find out right now, he needs... Look at that! Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time.
corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you'd give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Nice work. Nice work. The babyface assassin's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is. And specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. He'll attach, they're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. Big shot there. Edwards' his evening could be over soon, folks. The fight is over. The baby-faced assassin's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Just too much punishment dished out by the babyface assassin. That was a very impressive display of power punching. I like the way he finished. He got his opponent hurt. He jumped right on him. He went downstairs, upstairs, ended the night. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.